Hi friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Samvia. Today we're bringing you four important do's and don'ts when it comes to flat ironing hair. First and foremost, let's talk about product because that's a big don't. There's certain products you want to make sure you keep out of the hair when you're ironing, and that's anything that's going to get too sticky. We've definitely seen people use hairsprays before ironing, and especially something that's got a lot of tack to it is just going to make the iron stick. And to be honest, if there's too much dampness in the hair, which a lacquery hairspray might maintain, you're going to kind of cook the hair. So be careful with product selection. The one that we really recommend is the Redken Iron Shape 11. The reason we recommend this is it's specifically designed as a thermal protectant, specifically designed to go on that dry hair, and very specifically designed to have heat tools put over it. So it's not going to get sticky, it's not going to get gummy, and after you spray it through and comb it, you're, you know that there's not going to be wetness still inside of it that you're going to cook the hair strand. So product's very important. The next one is the actual section itself, because what happens is a lot of times we just kind of go into arbitrary sections that we take. And there's kind of two don'ts here. One would be the actual section size. So if we get big, thick, heavy sections, let's say we're taking a big, thick, horizontal section like so. When we take a large section like that, the challenge is this section is too large for the heat to evenly get through the hair. So when we place the iron into the hair, what ends up happening is we're mainly just heating the outside edges of the section and then the inside isn't getting hot enough to be affected. So what we do to compensate is we go over this section 10, 15 times to get it right. Now what's happening after you go over it that many times is you're kind of superheating the outside edges and then maybe just finally getting that interior into the heat that we need it to be to let go of the tangles and to get nice and smooth. So what we do suggest is that you skinny up your sections. Smaller sections are actually gonna be faster for you because you're not gonna to have to go over this section multiple times to get the end result you're looking for. Now the other kind of don't when it comes to ironing hair is we don't necessarily suggest horizontal sections. And the reason for it is a horizontal section when we iron it tends to leave the hair really flat looking. Uh, you know, people want smooth hair when they look for a flat iron, but they don't want flat hair usually. So horizontal sections tend to make things flat. What we suggest is that you shift to more of a diagonal section. And those diagonal sections, if you keep them nice and small, and actually I just barely did that section a second ago, so we'll go one more above it. When we keep them nice and small and we work on the diagonal, now it's very easy to get the texture we want. So we'll take that iron shape 11, we'll pick up our small diagonal section, give a light mist, comb it through once, and by the time I'm done co combing through, it's plenty dry to apply the heat. And then we work on that diagonal. When we work on a diagonal, what happens is after the hair falls, it still has a little bit of movement to it and it doesn't get so flat and lifeless. So um, diagonal section, and keep the iron on that diagonal, and it leaves us with a much nicer result. Now the final one is that you have to understand that the iron seals whatever goes into it into the hair. What does that mean? So if I have a strand that's kind of fluffy and fuzzy, and this one's not overly fluffy, but you know, let's imagine that there's a lot of crinkles in that section. If I take the iron and I just kind of grab a hold of it and go down the section, what I've now done is I've sealed all those crinkles into the hair because the iron actually doesn't do the straightening, it just seals whatever you put into the iron. So what we suggest to avoid that is fine teeth of your comb. Put the fine teeth of the comb into the section and then you place the iron in right behind the fine teeth. Now our combs are heat resistant so you don't have to worry about putting the iron flat against the comb 
And by leading with that fine teeth, what it allows us to do is to feed smooth, straight hair right into the mouth of the iron. That is going to give us the best result. So again, make sure you're choosing the right product, nothing that's overly tacky or wet. Make sure that you're using the right section size, nothing too thick, and of course that's gonna depend on hair density, so you'll have to choose per client. We also suggest switching from your horizontal sections into more diagonal sections to leave some life still in the hair. And then finally, make sure you lead with the fine teeth of your comb so that you're not feeding the crinkles into the iron and sealing them in. We hope those are some great do's and don'ts that will really help you out behind the chair. Any questions or comments, leave them in that little box below and we'll get right back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Villa.